I'm working on a dressing table and the original of this piece is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York. It's in mahogany. It's a Heppel White piece, so this would be about 1800s and it has quite a bit of veneer decoration and inlay work. Uh, the original is in mahogany. Uh, I'm doing it in cherry, which you can see some of the parts of the carcass down here. I've, I've modeled this up with all the joinery in, in SketchUp, so that gives me the information to create the required connections of these pieces. And I've already connected the right, well, the back piece and the back legs. I've dry fitted just mortise and tenon joints and then I've dry fitted this side and this partition uh, over on this side. And I want to show you how that works, how that goes together on the left side of the dressing table. So. The first thing is to connect this partition to the back. The, the back piece is quite important from a construction strength point of view of, a, of the carcass. The, the partitions, for example, are through tenoned, so they'll be wedged on the back face to really firm up the, the position of these um, partitions so they don't sag out here in the front. So that's the w way those will be connected. Um, the other thing is there's all these drawer runners and kickers. Uh, so I need to get the drawer runners in here. And here are the two lower drawer runners go into sockets in the back, uh, like that. Let me get this drawer runner in there. And then, this is the left front leg, and I hope you can see there's a dovetail socket here and also a dovetail socket on the top face of the leg um, and this lower rail here uh, sockets dovetails into that socket and then there's a top rail that dovetails here the this dressing table has a bowed front so that's why you see this curvature on this rail here. And I'll just go ahead and connect that in to the leg. There are mortises here that connect to these tenons on the side. And then this piece has a tongue that joins into the partition in a groove in that partition. So all these things have to kind of come together here. It's a little puzzle, like, little, like a puzzle. And it's going to make the gluing process quite challenging. So i got to get these these uh, drawer runners to go into the, the sockets on this rail and I think that's 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 going together okay yeah that's together so now there's an arch that goes into the middle of this dressing table. And notice it has this uh, bowed shape as well. 
that will match up with the drawer fronts and all the other pieces here in the front. That'll go together like that with these dados in the partitions. And I think everything seems to be pretty much the way I will handle this glue up in three stages, I believe. I'll first of all have the back and the back legs uh, glued up. Then the second stage I will insert the sides and the partitions into the back and glue them and then I have to wedge the through tenons on these partitions as well. So that'll be the second stage. And then the third stage will be the front leg and the rail and the arch and, and that part. It, plus, I've got a, a top rail that has to be worked into this. And that's probably the toughest part. Let me see how this looks here. It looks pretty good. Now let me see how it looks in the camera to see if I need to move. Okay, I think that'll be okay. And so I've got a lot of uh, drawer kickers and and I've got a front rail here. You can see the all these kickers or have a tongue into the, the socket in this front rail, which is also has this bowed shape and dovetails that connect not only to the top of the front leg, but a dovetail, a smaller one that connects to the top edge of the side to hold this together. But I've got to get all these tongues of these kickers uh, to slide into the uh, sockets in that back piece. So this is probably the most tedious part of the glue up that'll have to be done. And I don't want, I gotta kind of start at one end here and get it going. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's going to happen. I've got triangle marking on these pieces. Without that, I wouldn't know how these all these parts fit together. The triangle marking is it's just a real nice, convenient way to 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 dis to show where things go. And I think I've got things pretty much oriented here. Let me see if I can, yeah, yeah the dovetails now uh, caught in, in this area. See if I can now get this part without tearing that apart. So I've got a get a little give here. I don't want the dovetail yet connected over here. Back this out a little bit. I think I'm okay so far. Try to get these slipped into the sockets. I'm probably going to obtain some help when I have to do this glue up. Okay, okay, now let's see if I can, if I can drive these dovetails down. There's a little dado underneath here where that, where those 
Ah, the partitions fit up into the dados here. Okay, that's closed up. That's that's down. So I think everything's there. All right. So that's basically how this is going to be put together. Let me rotate it around so you can see what it's going to look like from the front. A deep drawer here. Now I'll have some wood screws that hold hold this top rail down to the partitions. Uh, so a deep drawer on each end and then a shallow middle drawer and then the space for your legs to fit with a chair and this will be a nice project after I get it glued up then I've got all the veneer work drawer work and inlay work though there will be bell, bell flowers on the front edge face of these legs also I haven't shaped these legs yet they will follow the same curvature here but I'll do that shaping with hand tools after the glue up.